Hey team, good afternoon. Um, I'm creating this video for you to help you, um, to, well, to teach you how I keep track of all of my pieces claimed or purchased um, through the back office. So this is going to be a training from your computer. If you're doing from your phone, if you do everything from your phone, you can still do that. Um, basically you would create an album so where I show you folders like this on your computer you would create an album on your phone um, the reason that I like to use the computer one I don't like to use my phone as you guys know I use my phone to go live and make phone calls um, everything else I um, use my computer for so what I started with is I started to create a folder and if you look over here in this mess on my desktop you can see one called paparazzi to create a folder from your desktop what i do is i just right click this little this little thing is going to pop up the drop down and i click new folder you'll see down here it brought up the new folder you can name it whatever and i'm going to name this one paparazzi test because we're going to go into that one um for a moment though i'm going to show you this i'm already in my paparazzi but i'll Hold that or I'll show that you know close that down and then um, over here is your pop is my paparazzi in here you will see all sorts of different folders I'll expand it so you can see everything at a glance plus some extra pictures that I found like around the web or whatever or maybe when I upload a photo I just don't know exactly which category to put it in and then later on I'll come in and, and I'll fix these and put these in these categories but inside the paparazzi folder I do the same thing I just double or I just click and you don't want to click like over a folder you want to click somewhere in the empty space you right click click new create another folder and where is it it'll come up in alphabetical order under new folder so maybe you want to create um, you've got pictures like um, you know some of these down here you know and you might want to put maybe earn free jewelry Okay, that could be your folder. And then here, this picture right here says free jewelry. So you could then take this picture, slide it into there. And now if I refresh this, so if I like get out of there and I come back into my paparazzi folder, which is right there. And now earn free jewelry back is now back up in the alphabet alphabetical order and then you can see a little a little uh, thumbnail of at least one or two pictures you know I only have one picture in there but you can see kind of what's in those folders it looks just like a filing cabinet right consider this your filing cabinet so with that being said I'm going to show you just what I do for um, my inventory so what I've done is I go into you see me double click on the paparazzi test folder that's where I'm at right here it tells you where you're at inside there I'll create another folder and it'll be inventory okay now inside the inventory you could just put all of your pictures just save them all right there and there's no rhyme or reason however I go a little bit deeper into this so I'm gonna bring up mine so that you can see what my inventory folders look like okay so when I have inventory right here I have a lot of like different things you can see like here's what's in stock but this was back in 2018 so chances are those items are not in stock um, here's just a bunch of other folders that I've, I've created and put pictures in but these are what I use so um, it's 2020 so you could just start maybe with 2020 inside each one of these you'll notice that I put little folders in here okay that's what I did last year and I didn't do that this year so we're gonna fix that in a minute but so I've got January through December I can go in here and then inside there okay there's one order so apparently I know I ordered more than that but that's probably what I found February there's a few more okay so well no January was slow I that's during my move so then you'll see all these different orders or folders in here and I date them and I and at one point last year I was actually putting in the order number 
Um, but then inside that order are all the pictures, and I'm going to show you how to download them from Paparazzi. But this is everything that I ordered on February 3rd, 2019. Okay. So, whoo, that was a big order, but that was me just getting ready to get moved in, right? So, so back to this one, what I would start with is I would create a new folder and I would put 2020 orders. Okay. Inside your 2020 order, you're going to double click that. Now you can see the little file path, paparazzi, and then you have these little arrows. And this is showing you all the different file the different things you want to click to get to the file that you need, right, as you're creating them. So then in 2020, you know, you don't have to, if you're just starting now, let's just start today, right? So we're going to go April 2020, but you might want to put 04 April. This way they're going to be in numerical order, you know, by the date. Now, if you put April, then April and August will be up front, and then you're going to go to the next, you know, the next letter. It's going to all be alphabetized. So by doing four and then five for May and so on and so forth. So you do April. You know, you can just sit here and make all of your months if you want it at, at once. I normally just wait until that month starts and make another one, but we'll put a few of them in here just so you can see. We're right clicking, and we're going to put 06 June, right? So. And we don't have to put the date because it's already in the 2020 folder. So now we're in April. So then we're going to create a new category called the date, a new folder, I mean. So then today on this one, I'm going to put today's date because I ordered, right? So you go 04, 20, 20. However you want to do it, you can just put 04, 20 because, again, you don't need um, the 20, you know, the 2020 in there because of the fact that you've already got up here. 2020 orders it's up to you now in the event that I place two orders sometimes I might go times two if it's my second order that I placed today right and then I'll have times one and times two all right but I only placed one so far today so I'm going to show you this so then I created that folder now I have that folder it's good to go the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my website let me just close these out because it's a little bit crazy um, with all the tabs I do a lot of tabs. I multitask. So then I'm going to go into my paparazzi um, page. I'm going to, or website, I'm going to log in. And when you log into your paparazzi website, the first order that should be is your most recent order. So I'm going to click over here into the view all. And then you're going to see all of your pieces. All right. Okay. So from here, you need to first zip your images, all right? So it's going to ask you to zip the images and then download the images. You'll notice that as it's downloading, you're going to get this little piece down here that's telling you when that little blue circle thing quits going around it, you just open it up. You click it to open it. Now you have all these pictures here. However, this is a zip file. So you're not going to be able to see what you got. So what I do is I take and I just kind of highlight every one. Now you could click each one and use the control, but you want to make sure that every item in here is clicked. Now, what I do, because I don't need them over here and over there and here, there, and everywhere, I'm going to, you can either right click, and I will show you that. Now, mine, I have a, um, you might see a different step in my computer because of, you know, antivirus and stuff like that. I use my um, quick keys, which is control plus C to copy or control plus X to cut. I'm wanting to cut these because I don't want them in this. I want them over there and I don't need them two different places. Okay. But for this fact, because you can't see me control X, I'm just going to right click while, you know, somewhere within this highlighted area, while I keep everything highlighted, I'm going to right click. And here's my Windows security. So it's like, oh, are you sure these might be harmful? I click OK. You may not have that step. It may just automatically take you to this step. So then I'm going to hit this cut. And what it does is as soon as I paste it somewhere, those in that file will automatically be gone. Now I'm going to come down here to my little file, file picture because I've still got this other 
file up that's the 420. I'm going to open that up. Now there's no files in there. Again, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click this that says paste. Now, if you like to use your control keys, it would be control V as in Victor. That will paste it. You'll notice when it starts to paste, you'll get some of this depending, you know, sometimes you don't even see that because it's a small order. Looks exactly the same, but see here, it's already removed from there. Okay, so let's note, none of them are over here anymore, but I still have these files. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click again and I'm going to click view large icons. Now I can actually see what I ordered, right? The pictures. So I can view extra large icons if, you know, if your vision is bad. And sometimes I, on days, I have days that it's like, I got to get, I got to see that a little bit further at a glance. So I bring the large, you can um, view small icons, medium icons. You know what I'm saying? You can view it however you want. That's your uh, small icons and you can't even read the picture. So I would say at least large so you can see them. All right. Now, the great, the reason that I do this is this reason. All right. Is for this reason. Now I'm going to, this is how you do it. And like I said, you would just continue to do that. So tomorrow when you place an order, you're just going to go right back into your paparazzi test folder that you're going to find on your desktop or wherever you saved it to. Click on inventory, click on 2020 orders, find the month, create your new folder for tomorrow's date, and then you'll be able to paste your pictures in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. For the sake of, because I have more stuff stored in my other folder, we're going to now go back to my desktop. We're going to pull up paparazzi, my folder, right? I'm going to pull up my inventory, right? So now let's say that tomorrow comes and I want to shop. And normally this is how I do it. I'm going to minimize this a little bit just so we can kind of see this, this stand. I mean, we're going to come back to this in a minute. But I want to go and look at new releases. So we're going to click on new releases. And then we just scroll through. Now let's just say I really like this piece right here. I click on it. You know, I usually view it showing it, uh, somebody wearing it. Oh, that's really pretty. So let's say I want to I wanna order it, but I don't want to double order it. What if I already ordered it three days ago or yesterday or, you know, earlier today? I don't know if I ordered it, so I'm going to order it again. And I've done this before where I have it where um, basically I – double order so i might get three or four today and tomorrow comes i'm like oh that's cute no get three or four so this is how i determine it as long as you're in the inventory folder and even if i was in the paparazzi folder for that matter i can take this name uh chic geocentric and over here where it says search inventory that's the folder that i'm searching but i can do it also under the paparazzi showing all of this and I can go Chickly and spell it just the way that it's spelled there. And if it's there, it would come up. I only have to put a keyword in there. Um, and how it's usually programmed is this is the latest, the most recent, the one on the top is the most recent one that you've posted, you put your picture in there for. So as you can see, I have Chickly centered. I have Chickly carnival-esque, which I don't have anymore in two different colors and I have Shickly classic okay um, but I don't have Shickly geocentric right and I can continue to start typing it and you notice when I put geo in there it goes away nothing's now in here because there's nothing there so that tells me I have not ordered it yet and then I scroll some more and I'm like ooh, this one's really pretty and you guys if you didn't get this one yet it's still there in your back office today so that one's gorgeous so I'm going to go Pacific, you know, just take, type some of the words. Oh, there it is. There it is. And then when I find it, I just put my mouse over it. And I'm not going to be able to show you this, but you can, because of the minute I move it, you're going to lose it. You know, see the little box that's below that picture at the very end. It says path 19 underscore Pacific pageantry, maltreat, yada, yada, yada. 
And in parentheses, you see where it says C colon users Avon B, OneDrive, desktop, paparazzi inventory, 2020 orders, April 20th, and then it says 4.10, and then it runs out of room. That in a heartbeat is telling me where that's at. So it says 4.10. So now, and I just follow that path, so I have to go to my inventory folder. So we're going to take this back off to make my folders reappear. I go into inventory, and it says that I posted, I bought that on January 10th. So I can come in here to my photos on January 10th, and there it is. It's right there. And I can see quantity two. And these are actual final names that you're uploading when you upload your folder. So it's going to tell you the one, the two, the three at the end, that is the how many pictures are in that particular item. The number at the, represented at the uh, first mark here, the four, 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 that tells you the quantity of how many you've got ordered. Okay, so if I'm looking for that piece or somebody calls, you know, sends me a message and says, hey, do you have uh, Pacific pageantry or do you have this picture? Okay, then I can quickly go in there and I can either type by name and I can say, yep, I got or ordered. I ordered them on the 10th, so they should be here this week or whatever. All right. The other thing that I can do under inventory, let's say somebody's looking for a blue pair of earrings. I can type in the word blue because as you see with each name, it says the name and the color. Okay. So then I can scroll down through all, this is everything that's in there, all the files in there, all the pictures in there that have the word blue in them. So I can say, oh, well, I just got these and I can shoot off this picture to my customer and say, I just got these blue earrings. They're on their way to me. Here's a pair of fish hooks that are on their way. Here, these ones just uh, these ones came in stock, so I still I still have those available. I have these available. I have um, well that one. Remember that earring is a part of that necklace, right? So I wouldn't give them that. But you know if I know it's for sure like an earring, I just scroll through. Oh here, oh this one sold out, so I can't. But this one I still have, right? So I can then grab this picture and look, you know, show them. I can also type by um, the name, you know, if I'm looking for a specific, um, a, a specific piece myself, maybe I'm trying to post a, a specific album on my page. I can type in the names if I know the names of the items and get them pulled up. All right. So then you get this all in one area. When you go to post your new releases on Facebook, or post an album on your Facebook uh, business page or in your VIP group, you can click photo. You can say, you know what? I want to show them a picture of Miss Universe. So I'm going to type that. And maybe you push this one up and say, you know, maybe you want to post a new fit picture every day. And you can say, this is, this is the featured piece of the week claim yours today by commenting sold below okay and maybe you just want to put up a piece all right and then you post that to your group and because you know you've got several of them okay so i hope that's helpful and every, some of you have asked me, how do you keep track of all of your um, inventory and things like that? That is exactly how I do it. I also have another one in here in my inventory that right here was my inventory at the end of the year. So I know it says 120, but that's when I did my inventory and that was good enough. So this is my inventory after the end of the year. And in this one, I took, um, you know, and I broke it down to categories. You can do this if you prefer, but it's a lot. If you're doing it for new releases, keep in mind, I used to do this. And basically what was happening was I'd get on a roll and I'd be copying all these pictures. And I'm like, this is an anklet. This is a bracelet. This is, you know, and I got to put them in each one of these folders. And next thing you know, my anklets would have necklaces in them because I got too fast. Okay. So, so then for the end of the year inventory, 
because I do it in sections, this is how it was for this year. Now next year, it might be in a different type of section. All right, so, but again, you can create as many folders as you want um, and then work them, um, you know, in. And I love doing this because, um, you know, I can at a glance see what I ordered, when I ordered it. Also, here's the other thing. You guys, we are all, we've been talking a lot about vintage pieces. Many of you have been in it for a year or more or you're getting close to that first year. And if you have some pieces that maybe you bought when you first started, by being able to look up that piece, um, and if you don't know how to look up a piece, Google it, all right? So let's say you have a pair of blue, we'll keep with the blue earrings. I just Google paparazzi blue earrings, and maybe they're posts, right? All right, now, and then I look under the images tab, and you can see all these blue earrings, right? So the other thing that you can see many times when you click like these, I'm trying to see a pair that I might still have in stock, okay? I don't wanna go too far, but I'm gonna try these because I did just sell these or just have these in my vintage, right? So do you see right there where it says the, the name? That's the name of it. So now if I come over here to inventory and I go whimsical wisteria, look right there it is. Now, this one doesn't necessarily tell me because this one is in a different category under fit, you know, this one was bought way back in the day. So um, I'm not gonna be able to find it, right? Um, I'll find the picture, but I can't find if it's vintage really for sure or not. But I know it's vintage because it's in that folder that says on Facebook VIP. And that was something I created back when I lived in Florida. So I know that's vintage. But let's just say we're going to go to, um, let's see, blue, I'm going to go turquoise, blue turquoise earrings and get the post out of there. No, oh, let's really get the post part out of there. Oh, come on, there's got to be something. Okay, we're going to try something different. I'm trying to, okay, um, trying to do something that I bought not too long ago. But you know me, I don't know the names of them. So let's do multi earrings. Uh, red teardrop earrings. Let's just do that. Okay, Flamingo Flamenco, okay? So let's go look that up, Flamingo Flamenco. Okay, right here, the blue ones. See, this is saying I just ordered those on 4-14-20, so they're not vintage, right? These ones I ordered on 2 20 okay? Not vintage. All right, let me see if there's something else I can find that where I can show you. Um, Sahara Serenity. Sahara, Sahara Serenity, right here. Okay, let's see what those, oh, 415, 19, right? So if those are on, if, if I really wanted, see where it says four to April 2019 under here in the little white box, I can't move it because it changes, but it says April 2019, then it says 415, 19. If those are in my regular stock inventory and I'm trying to move out my, um, vintage items this is definitely i mean it's five days after a year it's a year and five days since uh, since i ordered those so those would be then able to go over to my vintage category okay based on the date so if you do that and you put the date in there you're going to know exactly when you ordered those pieces and you're going to be able to determine yes or no whether it's not vintage whether or not it's vintage right so I hope that was helpful. Hope you can use it. Now, um, you can save these on your phone in albums and you can name your albums that, you know, maybe for the albums, you know, you don't want 20 million albums because you shop 20 million times in April. So you could do maybe put an April month up so that you have all your pictures of everything that you shopped in April. 
um, and then have one for May and so on and so forth. And then maybe once they become vintage or, you know, three to six months old or they sell out, you can also delete them. Now, before I end this, I also want to tell you one thing. If you go into the paparazzi inventory folder again, and let's just say, where's my inventory right there? So let's just go into 2020 and let's go into uh, the first order that I placed this week. Okay. So let's say this item, and I'll do large the extra large icon so you can see it. Okay. So let's say this Love Life bracelet sold out. You can then, if you choose, just click it and hit your delete button or right click and hit this delete button. I don't recommend it. The reason being is because once you delete it, it's no longer going to be there. So um, if somebody's asking a question about it, you might get the team, you know, sometimes the team's like, hey, does anybody have a stock photo for this? You know, you've got it. You, you've you got that stock photo that you can share with others. Um, mm. You know, you can also go back and look and say, hey, I did have it, but it must be sold out, right? I got it on 4-1, so yeah, I can't find it, so it must be gone, right? So I don't delete the photos in here. Um, now, what I could do possibly, possibly, I guess, is I could go through like my very first albums of inventory, you know, like the on Facebook VIP, you know, because these are all by colors. So I could go here and again, do the view large icon so I can see some of them. And I can go, okay, this one, I know I don't have that anymore. It is long gone and I can delete it just to save room on your computer. But let's face it, today's computers, they've got like terabytes of storage. So, you know, if I ever get to the point where I'm storing so much stuff that I can't get it, um, that I can't, you know, I need to delete stuff, that's probably the first place that I'm going to go. Look at this, you guys. This was on Facebook VIP. That I just showed that in the in the hair bows the other day. All right. So that's all I'm saying is that um, I wouldn't delete the photos unless you absolutely have to because they're there and you can use them later. You know, you might even be creating a collage and you, it's, you know, or setting up like a Facebook cover page. And you know what? you don't have to have the pieces in that picture. You know, you're not trying to sell that the pieces in your picture, for example, is just a picture that you're trying to make. Like, you know, have you seen um, the latest in paparazzi trends, you know, or whatever. And you could put this pair of earrings, even though, you know, I don't even have this pair of earrings, you know, you can still put that on there. You've seen other people do that. All right. So hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, I'm, I, I'm doing this one on YouTube. So it's open to everybody to be able to watch it and use these tips. Um, and then I'll post it in our team group. Have a nice day. See you soon.